the skin cancer we die of at 50 may have been because of a teenage sunburn, and those who eat dairy, milk, cheese, or yogurt, may have two and a half times the risk of certain bad skin cancers. These researchers did, however, find something so incredibly powerful that it cut skin cancer risk by about 50%. Greens, eating dark green leafy vegetables, cuts our risk in half. Yes, but how many greens did these people have to eat? Well, here's the data. These are the people who ate the most greens and had half the cancer risk, compared to these who ate the least, averaging only 6 grams of greens a day. The, that's the weight of six, six paper clips. They must have like accidentally ate the garnish or something, <laughs> some sprig of parsley next to their steak. You know. What about the highest tier of greens intake? Cutting their squamous cell skin cancer risk in half. Just 31 grams of greens a day, 31 paper clips. That's the equivalent of just three leaves of spinach, and one, two, three leaves a day. Half the risk of this cancer. That's how powerful greens are. My motto is, eat your greens every day of your life until you die. Last year, there was even a Greens review in American history. General George Washington, 1777, gave the general order for American troops to go out and pick the wild greens growing around their camps to protect them from all putrid disorders. Smart man. Just as eating meat increases our risk of cancer, eating plants decreases that risk. This study found that eating a lot of plant foods could cut our risk of getting breast cancer in half, thanks to dietary fiber. Remember, fiber is only found in plant foods. Animals have, have bones to hold them up. Plants have fiber to hold them up. But only whole plant foods are good sources of fiber. Refined uh, foods like white flour, white bread, white rice, uh, white pasta, have much of the fiber and other nutrients stripped from them. Same with endometrial cancer. Lots of animal protein, animal fat, we get nearly twice the risk. Lots of plant protein, plant fat, nearly half the risk. 97,000 women studied ovarian cancer, another really horrific cancer. Lots of isoflavones cut our risk in half. What's the top source of isoflavones? Soy foods. Though soy-based meat alternatives often lack the fiber of whole plant foods, compare plant to animal bacon. Same serving size, but babe over here has four times the calories, 50 times the fat, 40 times the saturated fat, infinitely more cholesterol, and only a quarter of the protein, and increases our cancer risk, while the soy-based bacon may decrease that risk. It's simple, right? High fruit, low meat, less tumors. I'm not just being selective with these studies. I have for years challenged anyone to produce a single study showing more cancer on a plant-based diet. Frankly, no such study exists. Another huge study, Journal of the National Cancer Institute, more plants, less cancer. Why? Dietary lignin intake. Lignins are one class of thousands of compounds called phytonutrients. Phyto means plant. These are special plant nutrients. Best source of lignans on the planet? Flax seeds.